Rick the Road Roller is at the construction site today. He helps Danny the Digger and his other friends by making surfaces flat and safe to drive on. Without him, vehicles would have a very bumpy ride. Rick can flatten soil, sand, concrete, tarmac or even gravel. Ah, it looks like Celia's filling that deep hole with concrete. When concrete dries, it's rock hard and good to build on. Oh no, look out Rick, don't roll into that concrete, it's only just been poured and it's far too deep. Uh oh, too late, oh dear, Rick is stuck and Caroline the Crane's at another job and she's not here to pull him out. This looks like a job for Helen the Helicopter. Go, go, Helen! There, Rick. Let's get you back to the garage and fix you up. Garage roof open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Did you enjoy your flight, Rick? Let's take a good look at you. Oh dear, you're well and truly stuck in that concrete. Don't worry. The Mechanicals will get you out in no time. Go, go Mechanicals! It must have been an awful shock. To get stuck in concrete, that hardens like rock. Please don't worry, without a doubt, the Mechanicals jackhammers will break you out. There, as good as new. Let's go outside and test your roller to make sure everything's in full working order. Careful Mechanicals, stand well back. We don't want you getting squashed. OK Rick, squash those shapes. The first shape to squash is over here. A big round ball we call a sphere. Rick rolls it flat and then we find a circle has been left behind. A big, tall, pointy pyramid. The second shape that Rick has hid. Rick rolls it flat and now we've found a triangle left on the ground. This one has six faces all the same. A cube is its name. Rick rolls it flat and now down there we have a perfect flattened square. The final one to be destroyed, a shoebox shape. It's a cuboid. Rick pushes down, the shape is mangled and now we have a flat rectangle. Very impressive Rick. Looks like you're back to your old self again. You better get back to the construction site. Danny the digger will be worried about you. Oh look, here comes Bobby the bus over the hill. Bobby spends his days travelling around town, picking people up and dropping people off. He's a very helpful little bus. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Hello Bobby, what's wrong? Are your tyres flat? Are your windows broken? Have your lights stopped working? What do you think is wrong with Bobby? It sounds like your fuel tank is nearly empty. Shall we give you a top up? Fill, fill, fill. 
let's fill up your tank. For all of this fuel, I'm sure you'll thank. Let's fix that light that was so dim. Full, 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 full to the brim. There, all filled up and ready to go. Have a good day, Bobby. I know a song about Bobby the Bus. It goes something like this. The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. Hey! The wipers on the bus go swish, 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 swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish all day long. The doors on the bus go open and close, open and close, open and close. The doors on the bus go open and close all day long. Here we go. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, 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 all day long. Oh ho! The engine on the bus goes brum, 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 brum. Brum, brum, brum. The engine on the bus goes brum, brum, brum all day long. Go, Bobby! The lights on the bus, they light the way, light the way, light the way. The lights on the bus, they light the way all day long. One more time! The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round all day day long. Well done, Bobby. It's been a long day, and now it's time for you to rest. Oh no! Our sign's blown down in the storm. The mechanicals can fix it, but how can we get it back onto the roof? Hmm, I know. Caroline the Crane. She's just the vehicle for the job. Hello, Caroline. Good to see you. Now that the wind has stopped, could you please help us get our sign back onto the roof? Oh dear, that doesn't sound good. There must be something wrong with your winch motor. Let's get the mechanicals to take a look at you. Come on inside the garage. Vehicle turntable, spin, spin, spin. Let's make sad Caroline grin, grin, grin. Go, go mechanicals. Hmm, everything seems okay here. I think you just need some oil. We need someone who can reach. Go, go, super mechanical. Oil should have freed everything up. Let's test your winch. One meter, two meters, three meters, four meters, five meters. Everything seems to be working fine now. How high can you lift them, Caroline? Uh-oh, I didn't mean that high. You've crashed right through the roof. Before we get this sign back up, I think the mechanicals had better get that hole fixed. We don't want any rain getting into the garage. Now that the mechanicals have fixed the hole, reattaching the sign is our new goal. Caroline lifts it high off the ground. 
so people can see it for miles around. Thanks for your help with the sign, Caroline. Phew! It's hot today. The mechanicals have been working very hard, fixing up broken vehicles. I think they deserve a treat to help them cool down. Just in time, here comes Vicky the ice cream van. Hello Vicky. Five vanilla ice creams please with sprinkles and a flake. Yuck! Oh dear, that's not right. This ice cream is all warm and melted. And look, Vicky, there's a puddle of water underneath you. Come on inside the garage. I have a feeling that your freezer might be broken. Let's get the mechanicals to take a look at you. Go, go mechanicals! It seems as if your freezer's gone a little funny. The compressor's stopped working and that's made your ice cream runny. We'll fit a new one to make the freezer cool. There, you're all fixed up now. We used the right tool. We need to make more ice cream to replace the melted batch. Let's add all the ingredients to Vicky's mixing hatch. We need some milk and sugar and don't forget the cream. Add eggs, some vanilla, whisk them up in your machine. Then let the freezer do its work to cool the mixture down. Vicky the ice cream van, the coolest truck in town. Right, let's try that again. Five vanilla ice creams please, with sprinkles and a flake. One, two, three, four, five. Delicious. What a great treat to help us cool down on a hot summer's day. Trevor the tractor's going to be visiting the garage today. He works down at Number Farm, helping Farmer George with lots of important jobs. Oh Trevor, you do look a mess. I'm glad you came to see us so that we can fix all of your problems. Go, go mechanicals! You really work hard on the farm, don't you Trevor? But you do need to look after yourself properly. Your plough is all bent out of shape. How did it get like that? In the spring, Trevor ploughs the farmer's fields to get the soil ready for planting. He pulls a big plough behind him. It looks like hard work. Oh dear, those large rocks have really bashed up the plough. Then Trevor helps to sow the seeds. He pulls another machine that throws the seeds out onto the ploughed soil. Now that the mechanicals have repaired the plough, they need to take a look at your poor trailer. How did that get so broken? 
In the summer, Trevor spreads fertilizer on the crops to help them grow big and strong. Trevor also helps to harvest the farmer's delicious red apples from the orchard. That trailer looks very heavy and full. I think there's too many apples in there. Ah, so that's how the trailer got broken. There, your trailer's as good as new. Now, what about this giant scratch on your paintwork? What happened there? In the autumn, when the crops are ready to be harvested, Trevor uses his harvesting attachment to chop and gather all of the lovely golden wheat, ready to be made into breakfast cereal and flour. Oh no, this tree has fallen over in an autumn storm. Trevor the tractor is so strong that he can drag the tree out of the road so that everyone can get to where they need to go. Look out for that branch. Oh no, it's scratched his lovely red paintwork. A quick respray and your paintwork's as good as new. Now, why does your engine sound so grumpy? In the winter, Trevor has to drive through the snow to take bales of hay to feed the horses. Trevor also goes out onto the country lanes to help cars in the snow. Poor Sophie is stuck in a snowdrift. Trevor clears the heavy snow from the road with his snowplow. And then pulls Sophie up the hill. No wonder his engine sounds poorly, after all that heavy work. There, the mechanicals have fixed up your engine, re-sprayed your paintwork, repaired your broken trailer, and pulled your plough back into shape. After all those seasons, you just needed a bit of maintenance. But now you're as good as new, and ready for spring, summer, autumn, and winter on the farm all over again. Here comes Fiona the fire truck. She should be hard at work rescuing people and putting out fires, but it looks like something's wrong. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Hiya, Fiona. You look like you've sprung a leak in your water tank. You can't put out fires without your water. Do you want me to take a look at it for you? Oh, that hole looks bad, Fiona. We'll need to fix it right away. Let's see if we have a metal plate that's the right shape to patch up the hole. That hole in your tank has left a puddle. Your hose is dry. You're all in a muddle. To patch you up, that is our goal. Let's see which shape best fits that hole. Let's try a circle. No, that doesn't fit. What about a triangle? Still no good. A square patch is what you need. Hmm, maybe not. This hexagon shaped patch might be right. Oh no, try again. Wait a minute, yes that's it. A star shaped patch, the perfect fit. There we go, all fixed. Now we just need to fill up your water tank and you're ready to go. Fiona, can you hear that? I think someone needs a fire putting out. You'd better get going. Good luck, Fiona. Fiona is a very brave fire engine. And now with our help, she's able to do her important work properly. It's Max, the monster truck. 
garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Hiya Max, I'm sure that we can fit you in. What seems to be the problem today? Oh, look at that. You've got something stuck in your tyre. It's a horrid rusty nail. I hope it's not hurting you too much, Max. I think the first job is to remove it. The rubber tyre is the outside part of the wheel. Max's tyre is filled with air, which keeps it hard, but if there's a hole in the tyre, it'll go flat. That's called a puncture. That hole looks very big and difficult to fix. But luckily for you, Max, I think we might have a spare wheel just the right size. What a big hole. Your tyre's all flat. It's got no air. We can't have that. We'll find a nice new wheel just for you. Let's fix you up. There. Good as new. Hang on. That's not right. That's a tiny bicycle wheel. We need something bigger than that. No! That's a car wheel. It's bigger than a bike wheel, but still much too small for Max. That lorry wheel is bigger still, but not big enough for Max. Now you're just being silly. That looks the right size, but a square wheel is no good. Wheels have to be a circle. There we go. That wheel is huge. Just right for Max the monster truck. Now your new tyre is fitted, you're as good as new. Bye bye Max. Welcome to the stadium, where Max the monster truck is attempting a new world record for monster truck jumping. Max is going to attempt to jump over 10 vehicles and all his friends have come along to help out. Make the first jump, Max, as fast as you like. Jumping over Millie the motorbike. One. He's so good at jumping, this truck will go far. High over Millie and Sophie Sports Car. Two. Things are getting tense. There's no time to relax. He jumped Millie and Sophie and Tony the taxi. Yes, Max. Three. Max is jumping so well that he's in with a chance. Over Millie, Soph, Tony and Amber Ambulance. Four. Max is so brave, his stunts are very clever. But can he jump over our new tractor, Trevor? Uh-oh. Max has jumped five vehicles, but I think he's damaged something. We'd better check Max over before he carries on. Go, go, mechanicals. We'll check your suspension out and fix that nasty scratch. There, all ready to carry on. I can't bear to look. The gap's getting bigger. Can he clear all these vehicles? Plus, Danny the digger? Six. You can do it, Max. I'm wishing you good luck. Let's watch you jump, Rebecca, the recycling truck. Seven. That's surely too many. Max is going to get stuck. Can he really leap Fiona the red fire truck? Eight. He'll manage this ninth jump with no kind of fuss. 
Watch as he leaps over Bobby the bus. Nine. He can't jump them all. Surely not. I'm so sorry. Not a motorbike, two cars, all those trucks and a lorry. He's backing right up, revs his engine and then look at him go. He's jumped over all ten. Danny the Digger and his family are working very hard on the building site today. It rained last night and now the building site is covered in thick brown mud. Danny and his family look very tired and very muddy after all their hard work. You can't even tell who's who. I think it's time to get cleaned up. Danny, Caroline, Ryan, Celia. It's time to bring everyone over to Gecko's garage so that you can get all cleaned up in our truck and car wash. How many yucky, mucky construction vehicles need cleaning up today? Can you help me count them? One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten muddy construction vehicles needing a wash. Let's start cleaning you all up so that we can see who is who. One at a time, into the car wash. Smallest construction vehicle first. Our first vehicle's the smallest, but she more than pulls her weight. It's Florence the Fabulous Forklift. She helps lift pallets and crates. The second through is Little too, but his talent never ends. Tiny Sid, the skid loader. Loves helping all his friends. Three is waving her scooping arm. You really can't have missed her. It's Mia, the mini digger. She's Danny's little sister. Vehicle four won't let you down, even when things get bumpy. It's Rick, the reliable road roller. He stops roads being lumpy. I think we all know number five, even if he's covered in gloop. That's right, it's Danny the Digger with his brand new extra scoop. Number six is in a fix, all muddy, tired and glum. It's Celia, the cement mixer, with her churning, spinning drum. Number seven really makes a mess when he carries things around. Yes, it's Dylan the dump truck. Always tip stuff on the ground. And number eight loves breaking things. Always has a smashing time. It's Ryan, the wrecking ball crane. So there's just two more left to rhyme. Our ninth friend is... Uh-oh. Oh dear, this is a problem. The two largest vehicles won't fit in our truck wash. They're far too big. We're going to have to wash them another way. This looks like a job for the mechanicals. Go, go mechanicals!
Our ninth friend's too big for the truck wash. She's so giant there just wasn't room. It's Caroline, the mobile crane, with her telescopic boom. We've already cleaned up one dump truck, but now there is one other. George, the giant dump truck. He's Dylan's big, big brother. Fantastic. Everyone looks shiny and clean. Now you're all washed and clean, you can get a good night's sleep before getting muddy all over again tomorrow. Mia the mini digger is helping her big brother Danny dig holes on the building site today. You've been working very hard. I think it's time for a rest. Aren't you going for a break too, Mia? What's wrong? You look sad. Oh, I see. You want to dig a hole as big as Danny's. Don't be so glum, Mia. You're good at lots of other things. Um, Mia, I'm not sure that's a good idea. You're a little digger, and that's a very big hole. Danny's a bigger digger, so it's easier for him to dig big holes. A mini digger just can't dig a hole that deep, a hole that big. But Mia digs three days and nights until she disappears from sight. Her scoop gets caught upon some rubble. Uh-oh, I think that Mia's in trouble. There's no one around to hear her shout. Oh, how can we get Mia out? This looks like a job for Helen the helicopter. Go, go, Helen! We're coming, Mia! Hold on tight, Mia! Garage roof open at speed! It's time to help a vehicle in need. Let's take a good look at you and see what's wrong. Hmm. It looks like your scoop's broken. And one of your tracks. This looks like a job for the mechanicals. They'll get you fixed in no time. Go, go mechanicals! You tried to copy Danny, but you came unstuck, and you ended up trapped in the muck. Your older brother's much, much bigger. Remember, you're a mini digger. We'll swap your scoop and fix your track, and soon you'll be on your way back. There you are, as good as new. Now, Danny has a job for you. Danny needs to dig a small hole in the floor of this new building. He may be really good at digging big holes, but he's too large to fit through the doors, and his scoop is far too big. I wonder who he could get to do the job. That's right, it's the perfect job for you, Mia. I told you that you were good at other things. Danny the digger's big and can dig big holes. Mia's small and is the right size to dig smaller holes in hard to reach places. Good job Mia, I knew you could do it. There's a perfect job for each of you here at the construction site. All of my friends are having a great time playing with Max the monster truck at his stunt track. Everyone's getting covered in thick Brown mud. I think it's time to get cleaned up. Max, Rebecca, Fiona, Danny. It's time to bring everyone over to Gecko's garage so that you can all get cleaned up in our car wash. How many yucky, mucky trucks 
and other vehicles are there. Can you help me count them? One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten! Ten muddy vehicles needing a wash. Let's start cleaning you all up. One at a time now, into the car wash. Biggest vehicle first. Here comes our biggest vehicle, the first to wash today. Ah, it's Larry the Lorry. He's big and tall and grey. Who's the second vehicle? I don't know, do you? Of course, it's Bobby the Bus. Back to a purple hue. And third in line for cleaning, flashing lights upon her head. It's Fiona, the fabulous fire truck, shiny, strong and red. The fourth truck is so dirty, only her eyes can be seen. It's Rebecca, the recycling truck, with her paintwork bright and green. Do you know who the sixth one could be? Covered in gunk and goop. Ah, it's Danny the Digger with his enormous yellow scoop. The fifth truck has four giant wheels. He's really very mucky. It's Max, the orange monster truck. It's his fault they're all yucky. The seventh, with a mud-filled loudspeaker balanced on her head. That's right, it's Amber the ambulance. Now she's back to white instead. The eighth one through is smaller. Let's get his colour back. It's Tony the helpful taxi with his paintwork glossy black. The ninth one is another car. At least that's what I think. It's Sophie the speedy sports car. What a lovely shade of pink. This last vehicle is the tenth we've seen. Let's make her good as new. It's Millie the motorbike on two wheels. A brilliant shade of blue. Everyone looks fantastic. Well, watch out for that muddy puddle. Uh-oh, too late. Danny the Digger's here today. He doesn't need fixing. He's helping me. He's going to do some digging and moving so that we can build a new surprise part of Gecko's garage. First, we need this ground all flat. Danny, do you think you can help with that? Well done, Danny. That's nice and smooth. Now there's even more soil for you to move. I need you to dig me four large holes so they can hold four metal poles. The first hole needs to be at the top on the left. The second hole at the top on the right. The third hole at the bottom left. And the fourth hole at the bottom right. The holes you've dug are what we need for our new project. 
to succeed. At digging holes, you are the best. Let's let the mechanicals help with the rest. Go, go, mechanicals! One pole in each of the holes. One. Two. Three. Four. The floor goes at the bottom. That part goes on the left, and that part goes on the right. Those bits go at the back, and those go at the front. And the roof goes on the top. Uh-oh, Danny. The roof has to go very high up. Can you help the mechanicals to lift it on? You're a good friend, Danny. We are so lucky. But all that digging has made you mucky. So you'll be the first to splish and splosh in our brand new Gecko's Garage Car Wash. Thanks again for all your help, Danny. Millie the police motorbike has had to stop Larry the lorry. He delivers parcels and packages all over the country. He looks so full, his sides might burst. Millie needs to escort Larry to Gecko's garage so that we can help him. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Hiya, Larry. It looks like you're carrying too many packages and they haven't been loaded very well. Shall we take a look? Go, go, mechanicals! What a mess. I'm really sorry, but that's no way to pack a lorry. Let's take some time and care with it. I'm sure we'll make these boxes fit. The biggest parcel should go in first, with the smallest one on top. That blue parcel on the left, and the red one on the right. Let's put this parcel in the gap up at the top, and put the last parcel in that gap down at the bottom. There, all sorted. Now that everything is packed away neatly, it all fits in properly. See you again soon, Larry. Good luck with all your deliveries. Here comes Rebecca now. She looks unhappy. I wonder how we can help her. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Hello, Rebecca. Let's take a look and see what we can do for you today. You've got cans, bottles, paper, plastic and food waste all jumbled up. What a mess. Everything should be sorted into different piles, but it looks like your crew keep forgetting what to put where. How many bins do you have? One, two, three, four, five. 
Your recycling is all a jumble. But really, there's no need to grumble. Let's put some signs up here and there to help your crew learn what goes where. One, metal. Two, glass. Three, paper. Four, plastic. Five, food waste. One, two, three, four, five. There, that's much better. Thanks to those labels, your crew will know where everything goes. Tony the taxi's in a bad way. He's sad and lost and can't find his way. Amber, Amber, can you bring Tony to Gecko's garage? I think his sat-nav might be broken and he doesn't know how to find us. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vi- Hang on a minute. Where's Tony? Amber, you've lost him. This looks like a job for Super Mechanical. Go, go, Super Mechanical! With Super Mechanical's camera way up high, we have our very own eyes in the sky. Let's use this view to guide our friend and hope we have a happy end. Can you see Tony anywhere? Yes, there he is, down at Puppy Park. Tony, Tony, can you hear me, Tony? We're going to direct you to Gecko's garage. Are you ready? Tony, drive along the road until you reach a turning. Now, should Tony go left or right? Do you know? That's it, Tony. You need to turn left. Where does he need to go now? Left to number zoo? Or right to number farm? Or straight on? That's it, Tony. Go straight on. Now where should he go? Left to Nursery Rhyme Lane? Straight on to the train station? Or right to Gecko's Garage? Turn right to Gecko's Garage. Here he is. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Hello Tony, you've made it at last. Let's get that sat nav fixed so that you can find your way round again. Go, go mechanicals! That sat nav looks in a very bad state. So here's a new one so you won't be late. Hello Tony. Where would you like to go? There, all sorted. Now you should be able to find your way. Shall we try it out? OK, Tony. Let's go on a trip around town. Take us to Number Farm, please. Calculating route. Turn right. Arriving at Number Farm. Hello, Farmer George. Is it a busy day on the farm? Now let's visit the pups at Puppy Park. Calculating route. Straight on. Turn left. Arriving at Puppy Park. They look like they're having lots of fun. Now, let's see if we can get to London. Calculating route. 
straight on. Arriving at the train station. Oh look, there's the friendly trains. Eddie, Teddy and Freddy. I wonder if they're off to London too. Straight on. I think we're almost there. Arriving into London. Ah, the wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. <laughs> Arriving at the airport. You have reached your destination. It looks like your new sat-nav is working really well, Tony. You'll be able to take your passengers anywhere they need to go. Thanks for the ride, Tony. A tree has fallen over the road and Amber the ambulance is stuck. It's lucky that Danny the digger was passing by. I'm sure he can help. Thank you, Danny. Come in, Amber, come in. It looks like a branch from that tree has hit your siren. Come over to Gecko's garage and we'll take a look at it for you. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Hello, Amber. That siren sounds terrible. You can't drive to emergencies sounding like that. Let's take a look at it. Go, go, mechanicals. It looks like your speaker's all smashed up. Let's replace it with a new one. Let's see if that's fixed your problem. <laughs> oh dear, that isn't right at all. We've made the siren louder, but it shouldn't sound like that. I'll get the mechanicals to look inside you to find out what has gone wrong. Let's try now. I think we'll have to try again. You've started clucking like a hen. Try it again, Amber. Goodness me, just listen now. We've got you mooing like a cow. How about now? Who knew this fault would be so big? Now you're oinking like a pig. Let's hope this does the trick. The problem must be really deep. You're sounding like a barring sheep. Try, try, try again. <laughs> We tried again and now, of course, your siren neighs, just like a horse. <laughs> One last try. After all those problems that we found, your siren makes the proper sound. We fixed you up as good as new. Now, you've an important job to do. Bye-bye, Amber. See you again soon. Here comes Sophie the sports car. She looks grumpy. I wonder what's wrong. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Hiya, Sophie. Wow, those are some nasty scratches in your paintwork. 
Would you like a respray? I'll get my mechanicals on it right away. Go, go mechanicals! Let's choose some paint to cover that scratch. I'm sure we'll find something to match. Unless you'd like to try something new, we could find another colour for you. How about yellow? What about red? The blue looks amazing. Green really suits you. Purple looks nice. Stripey? I'm not sure about that. You don't like any of the new colours, Sophie? In that case, I've got one more idea. How about this? Back to your old colour. Pink! There, all done. That nasty scratch is gone and you look good as new. Bye bye Sophie. Try not to get that paintwork scratched again, but if you do, we'll be here to help put it right. Wow, just look at her go! Sophie can really zoom now. Don't drive too fast, Sophie, or you might get stopped by the police. Uh-oh, Sophie. Millie the motorbike is here to tell you to slow down. Well done, Sophie, for slowing down. But oh dear, it looks like something's wrong with Millie the motorbike. Millie, Millie, come in, Millie. You better come over to Gecko's garage right away so we can take a look at your problem. Garage doors open at speed. It's time to help a vehicle in need. Hey Millie, are you feeling okay? You look very wobbly. Are you finding it hard to balance? Go, go mechanicals! Let's check you over. Find out what is wrong and get it fixed. The mechanicals know how it feels to have a problem with your wheels. They've checked you over and found the fault. A nut is missing from this bolt. They fixed you up. You'll soon be cheering. Let's go outside and test your steering. Let's see how good your steering is now, Millie. Can you drive in a circle? Fantastic. Now, how about a triangle? Brilliant. One more go. How about a square? You did a fantastic job of following those shapes, Millie. I think your steering is back to normal. Bye bye, Millie. Remember, if you ever have a problem again, then come to see us here at Gecko's Garage. Hello, everyone. Are you ready to join me and the mechanicals for Gecko's Garage ABC? Let's get started. That is for Amber the Ambulance. She'll help if you fall down. Ba is for Bobby the Brilliant Bus. He'll drive everyone into town. Ka is for our cool car wash to make our vehicles shiny. Da is for Danny the Digger. He digs holes, huge or tiny. Eh is for everyone's engines. 
that keep their wheels turning. F is for Fiona the fire truck, who sprays things when they're burning. G is for our garage, where this video starts and ends. Also, G is for me, that's Gecko, always here to help my friends. H is for noisy honking horns, to let you know we're here. I is for icy roads and paths that Trevor the tractor helps to clear. J is for our hydraulic jack, lifting vehicles off the ground. K is for all our vehicles keys that sometimes can't be found. L is for Larry the lorry, lugging parcels from place to place. M is for Max the monster truck, who likes to jump and race. And also for Millie the motorbike, who really enjoys the chase. N is for new number plates, so that we know who's who. O is the garage oil can, keeps them running good as new. P is for a nice new coat of paint, when scratches are a pain. Q is for queuing at the car wash to clean that mud off again. R is for Rebecca the recycling truck, collecting old things to make into new. S is for Sophie the sports car, sometimes pink, sometimes yellow. Or blue. T is for Tony the taxi. He really knows his way around. And Trevor the tractor works down at the farm, digging and seeding the ground. R is for under this mystery sheet. What have those mechanicals found? Yes, V is for Vicky the van, who you might meet next time around. W is for wheels that we change when the old ones wear through. X is for x-ray machine that we use to get a clear internal view. Y is for yard, used to test all our vehicles to see if we fix them up right. And Z is for Zoom, when they're back to full speed. There's loads more amazing videos from Toddler Fun Learning. Just tap here to subscribe to the channel. And then tap here to watch more amazing videos. Bye!